Hi everyone and welcome to this lab. Uh, today we are going to look how to transfer a system requirement um, from the theory, from the actual requirement, from the planning into simulation. Uh, later on you will transfer it from simulation into a PCB uh, board and, and make it function. So we have an example here where it says write down a Boolean expression for the output of the below truth table and draw its logic gate. So we have a truth table. This truth table came from a system requirement. So A, B, C are your inputs and that could be your um, um, uh, the, the, uh, the sensors. Uh, that could be pressure sensor. That could be like a door that is open and closed in, in a car. This could be a, 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 a something related to the engine or anything else. And this is your uh, output that could be an alarm or could be a light uh, and so on. So this is a truth table as an engineer you would have uh, written it down based on your requirement. So for example, if you look at the output, uh, the, the system will give you one or five volt or alarm or light, for example, in three situations on three conditions when a as a sensor that is not uh, working or off when b is off and c is on and what is on what is off it is something you uh, you decide uh, so as an engineer you would start from the truth table and then later uh, you translate it into a boolean expression so if you look at the boolean expression for this you will notice that you have three uh, SOB, which is sum of product uh, expressions, uh, uh, it will it will be something like this. So, for the first one, it's A dash B dash C. The second one would be A B dash uh, C. The third one is A B C dash. If you do a little bit of uh, Boolean simplification, you will notice that in the first two sentences here, first two expressions, you have B dash C as a common factor so you just uh, get it out uh, do elimination and you will end up with this uh, expression in order to translate this into a logic circuit in 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 in, in, in multisim you need two main things of course you need the uh, first of all the the logic gate the second thing that you need is the interactive digital constant that saves you lots of time and a prop so let's start with the uh, interactive digital constant so uh, it appears uh, uh, under, um, uh, well, let, let's assume this is not here. So you just go to all families, uh, go here, all groups, and just write down interactive, interactive. So it will just appear. Bring it here. Uh, double click on it. You don't need uh, lots of details here. Uh, the label, just name it as A. Uh, this is ref definition. So you just hide everything just keep it as a for example so this is your input it will be like a toggle Control c Control v uh, another Control v so you've got three inputs you just need to ch change this to uh, b and this to c all you need now is a probe which is your output so again you click on this you go for probe uh, you don't find because you need to select all families this here probe so choose the color that you wish let's say red so this is your output let's call it as as x okay as this suggests uh, you don't want to display anything to be honest uh, labels is this you only need your x which is your output in between is your expression as we can see here we need an and gate with three inputs so again click on here so I just write and three for example um, so and three uh, we also need an OR gate um, with two inputs. Yeah, I will probably need two of them. Control C, Control V. Okay. 
So now in the first expression, we can see that we have some not gates. So some of them are inverted. So just put not here. Um, so not gate. Let's keep one here for now. Okay. We need one. We need two. Ctrl C, Ctrl V. So how do we start? So the first expression, which is the uh, uh, B dash uh c b dash c uh, so i need a not gate for example here so i bring a not gate uh to the b just to make it a b dash so that is my b dash c that's pretty much simple it's hard to get it nice and neat the first time so you need to try a couple of times yeah okay so that's all cosmetics uh, now for the second expression, it's A, B, so that's A, that is B, okay, we can make it nicer later on, and C dash, so that's C dash, okay, and that's pretty much all what you need. This is the circuit, you need to just bring them together and then see if your circuit uh, does work the way uh, you like it uh, uh, to be. So let's test it. So when we run this, so we have 0, 0, 001, 0, 0, 001, and we're actually getting one. So when, when C is zero, for example, so A, B, C, that's all zeros. Ideally, this should not be on. That means there is a mistake. So let's let's do some uh, verification then. That's, that's a very good way of, uh, finding out and troubleshooting what where did we do any uh, mistake so that's a b c dash that's correct that's output and this is b dash c and that's the or gate and this is our output uh zero 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 ideally i should not be getting any zero uh any sorry i should i should be getting zero here that's very strange let's do this again Right, is it something that could be because of the value? I doubt it, I don't think so. Yeah, something is very rather strange. So, as and, as C dash, as B dash. Oh, that's or, unfortunately, this should be and, sorry. So, I need an and gate here. Now it must work. So I apologize, guys. That's that's good exercise for uh, troubleshooting a system. So as you can see, zero 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 doesn't work. It confirmed the system here. So A, B, C, so A, B, and C, that could you give you one. So if A is zero, B is one, and C is zero, that should not give you anything. It should give you one when one, zero, one, so one, zero, one, that's zero. And also when it is one, one, zero, so one, one, zero. Let's try all ones. That should not give you anything. So we have translated a system requirement into a Boolean, uh, into a truth table, then to a Boolean expression, then into a logic circuit. So using Multisim or any other software, you can build your PCB, get it printed, and get your um, um, software working. So this is all from me now. Um, that is done, and wish you all the best.